Hello everybody, this is Vlade with Travel Through My Lens and once again I'm traveling today I'm in a city called Eureka it's about 5 hour drive from Sacramento where I live I'm here with my dad and my brother I uh, just wanted to give you guys a little glimpse of this town uh, show you some features some great aspects, uh, great views, uh, some great places in this town. Uh, right now we're at Samoa uh, Beach. It's uh, uh, right uh, in the heart of uh, Eureka. Uh, it's a neat place. Uh, right now it's February, so it's, uh, it's uh, February 4th to be exact, and it's still a little bit chilly a little bit cold outside so of course uh, not too much people here at the beach but we wanted to stop by give you guys uh, a quick view of what it's like over here if you look really close you could see a couple of people are swimming in the ocean over there but yeah it's a uh, it's a great views uh, it's uh, about to a sunset is about to come down uh, just a, a neat place to come out and uh, just relax rejuvenate uh, in the summertime uh, uh, I'm pretty sure there's a, a lot of people come out here we just drove uh, a few a couple of minutes from the other beach to this pl spot uh, it's the same beach, just a different uh, different location. But we, yeah, we we tried to drive in here, but as you can see, um, it, it it was a tough go. We didn't want the car to get stuck, so we just um, stopped ahead of it and just walked. We didn't want our car to get stuck and then had to pu push it push it out. So it's, it's a lot of sand. Um, we just didn't want to take a chance, so we're just kind of uh, walking right now. It's uh, it's the same beach, just a uh, a few minutes away from the first location that we stopped. As you can see, a lot of cars, trucks, trucks, SUVs uh, come come and drive here on this uh, this area. You can see the uh, tire marks. Big wheelers likes to uh, come out of here and uh, just drive around this this beach area. But it's it's a neat place to see. We're actually driving a Prius over there, so uh, we, we definitely didn't want to take a chance getting stuck. So I'm gonna climb over here on this, uh, on top of this hill, just to give you guys a little uh, overview of, of of what's going on here, and uh, just give you a, a nice view of, of this location. I wanted to just pull over and, and show you guys uh, uh, this right here and what you're seeing in front of us is a lumber yard. I've noticed by uh, driving into this town in Eureka, I've noticed at least four or five places where they have this uh, lumber yards where they deal with wood and uh, lumber and anything related to, to wood. Uh, as you can see in in this video that I'm showing you, it's uh, it's one of the businesses, one of the areas where where I see a lot in this town, Eureka, and this is just uh, one of them, one of at least four that I saw. And um, yeah, this is uh, I, I don't want you guys to think that this is the only thing that's in this town in Eureka, that lumber and beach and that's it uh, later on you'll see in the video uh, i'm gonna try to to videotape some more stuff for you guys that there's more to it of course here is another very neat location that i wanted to show you guys it's a really small town it's known for just fishing uh, retired folks who wants just a quiet 
nice ocean view live but primarily it's uh, geared towards fishing you could see uh, right there in front of you there's a lake with some boats uh, a great place to have a boat and just uh, have a place to stay right next to the ocean to the coast next to the coast a neat place uh, relaxed relaxed town want to show you guys the kind of homes they have here this place driving around you can see on the other side there's a ocean uh, waterfront right there so everybody who's living here they get to enjoy go outside have a great view they can spend time uh, on this uh, ocean they can go for a walk I just saw um, a lady walking the dog it's a uh, it, it's a uh, very relaxed gr great place to to hang out over here I would bet uh, some of these homes that you see over there is vacation homes, maybe a secondary home that um, people have as a, uh, as a, just a vacation home where they can go out for a week, maybe two weeks, maybe for a summertime, just enjoy it. Um, but yeah, the, the views are incredible, a great place to, to go for a walk, go fishing. I see the, uh, not only homes, but there's trailer park, uh, some RVs, mobile homes, just a mixed type of uh, uh, living here. Uh, I'm just pulling up to this parking lot. Uh, we're gonna stop by and just take a peek at what's going on here. As we were driving, I've noticed there's a couple of companies, a couple of pl places where you can contact them and get a rental for a day, for a couple of days, if you want to come and visit this place, right over here uh, in this area, uh, especially if you into fishing, if you want to get on a boat, this is a ni nice, a really nice spot. Here's a marina, uh, boats would park there come down uh, at this point it's early in the morning and I'm not seeing a lot of people outside boats yet and plus it's a winter time so it's February so the weather and the seasoning uh, just a cold cold month of the year is uh, is contributing to this and there's a restaurant in front right there I'm gonna come a little bit closer so you can take a peek Take a closer glance at, at this restaurant. There's some outside seating area. There's indoor seating area. It's a, a place where you can grab something to eat uh, right next to the parking lot over here, next to the marina. I'm, I'm gonna come closer to this, uh, to the ocean over here and uh, so you can get a better view, better glance of, of what's going on here. So th this part over here has a lot of rocks, as you can see on the video. Uh, definitely no sand here. Quite a, quite a few rocks here. But further down, a little bit to the right, uh, you'll see there's an um, area with uh, lots of sand where you could uh, enjoy swimming, 
tanning in the summertime. Here's just another view of the parking and the marina view. In Greek, the word Eureka means I have found it. Uh, this town of Eureka has a population of about 28,000 people. Eureka is the largest coastal city between San Francisco and Portland, Oregon. Eureka is known as the Victorian Seaport. Eureka has more Victorian buildings per capita than anywhere in California. And uh, one of the famous buildings or the most known buildings is a Carson Mansion which is built in uh, approximately 1886 and it's located in Eureka Old Town. The town of Eureka is located really close to the redwood trees. Sequoia redwood trees uh, is approximately five minutes away from Eureka. Some of the great popular places that you can visit if you if you decide to come out here and check out Eureka. Uh, one is uh, that I would recommend is Step Back in Time at Blue Ox Millwork and Historic Park. It's a living history park in Eureka. Uh, it's one of the city's hidden gems. This historic park contains a Victorian job shop, a fully functional sawmill used to make stunning architectural millwork, and a variety of other complex designs. The machine used are more than 100 years old and can replicate historic work. This rustic and authentic attraction is a must if you love handcrafted uh, work in wood, ceramics, stained glass and more. As I mentioned earlier, you can also go see a Carson Mansion. It's located in Old Town Eureka. Another great spot that I would recommend is called Lost Coast Brewery. They are an award-winning brewery in Eureka. They provide fantastic seasonal beers that change depending on the season. In addition to a wide range of excellent beers throughout the year, You can also try visiting Humboldt Botanical Garden. It is comprises of 10 magnificent gardens. It is situated on a 44.5 acre location in Humboldt Bay, south of Eureka, next to the College of the Redwoods. And it also offers summer camps and, se and seminars. Botanical Garden also provides a variety of academic activities and programs for kids and students. I would also highly recommend trying and having a picnic at Sequoia Park Forest and Garden. It is located alongside the Sequoia Park Zoo. The 67 acre park consists of hiking, and biking trails which are situated through throughout gorgeous creeks lovely ponds stunning meadows and a splendid redwood forest it also has picnic tables playground a gazebo bandstand open turf grass a wishing well and more just by entering a little deep into the green space, you will feel like you're in spectacular ancient forest. You can spend a delightful day at Sequoia Park, forest and garden. Enjoy lovely trails, have a picnic and a stunning views. One last recommendation I, would, I wanted to make is uh, try, trying visiting Humboldt Bay Tourism Center, the state of the art Tourist Center offers information about Eureka and its surrounding regions. It provides a wealth of information about local places worth visiting. The Tourism Center has iPads that the visitors can use to see the list of sites, accommodations, and things to do in the city. The center also has a tasting room that offers locally made
kombucha, ciders, beers, wines, along with locally crafted cheeses, meats, bread, and much more. There you go, guys. I, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I wish I could have spent a lot more time in this town and have seen a lot more places. D due to constricting times, um, uh, I wasn't able to visit everything I wanted or planned to see. So the time that we had here, um, I visited a few places. Uh, it's a, definitely a, a great small town. It's a quieter town, uh, less traffic, less noise, more calm, relaxed town. Uh, it's definitely uh, ranks high up my list. It's uh, has, uh, like I mentioned earlier, great Victorian buildings, great ar architecture. It does have one university school, so if you if you're possibly thinking about going to college or university, it does has have one university in town uh, has great uh, fishing spots places it uh, has some museums shops shopping it's just overall uh, very compact great small town uh, the weather is overall really good since it's on, on the coast in the summer it's not not as hot and humid as other places uh, the weather is uh, stays pretty consistent uh, a lot of green grass around shopping places for a small town it's it's uh, uses its uh, location and territory pretty pretty compact and, and utilizes everything so neat and great uh, that um, you, you pretty much have everything you need in this small town don't forget to like subscribe and comment and uh, I hope to see you guys uh, on the next video thanks for watching